In this video, we're going to set up the integration between Zoho projects and Zoho books. This will allow you to see financial information from projects like invoices. Also, you will be able to sync projects and timesheets from projects to books and create invoices using the timesheets. Here, we are in the Zoho Apps Marketplace section in the settings. Under Zoho Invoices, click on Activate Books. Now, click on Books next to How to Generate a ZSC Key. We're going to copy the email address, back to Projects, and paste it in the first field. Now, let's go back to the other tab and copy the key and paste it in the key field. Let's click on Save. And we're not going to change anything else. So click on Save again. All right, the integration has been configured. The records are being synced between the two apps, so it might take a few minutes. Meanwhile, let me show you the timesheets in projects. Let's open a project and go to the timesheet tab. Here we already have a few entries. The billable ones will sync with books. To add a time entry, you can use the button Add Time Log or do it from a task. Okay, let's open Zoho Books. Click on the setting icon and on integrations. Next to Zoho Projects, click on Show Details. As you can see, you can change more settings from the Zoho Books side. It looks like the integration finished syncing records given that the status is active, but we have a few errors. Let's open the error summary. These three projects did not sync with books because they didn't have a primary client associated. In this case, when I created these projects, I didn't associate a client to them. If you create a project from the CRM, the project will be automatically associated to an account and or contact. So those projects will always sync with books. Okay, let's go back. And below we can see how the different records from projects are being synced with books. If you have any custom fields that need to be mapped, you can do it here. In this case, we don't have any custom fields on the project modules in Zoho Books. Okay, let's go back to the home screen and click on time tracking. Here we have projects that show all the projects synced from Zoho projects and timesheet that shows timesheets also synced from projects. Keep in mind that you can add projects and timesheets directly in Zoho books, but they won't sync with Zoho projects. Let's go back to the project tab and open a project. This is the project dashboard where you can find a lot of information about the project finances. For example, it shows that there are five unbuilt hours. You can bill a client by clicking on Create Invoice. In this box, you can select what to bill. Something important is that there are several ways to display the timesheet info on the invoice. This will depend on how your project has been configured. In this case, we want to show each time entry as an individual line item, but you could also show a single line for the project. You can also select what information you're gonna show on each line item as well as the description. And if you need to bill expenses, you can check this box. All right, let's click on add. We're going to link a deal to this invoice so we can see this invoice from the CRM. Now scroll down to the items table. We have this section called project details where you can see the time entries. First, let's delete this empty item. And now let's add a rate to the time entries. If you add hourly rates in Zoho projects, those rates will show up on this table. In this case, they were not added to the project. That's why we need to add them manually. Okay, let's scroll down to make sure everything looks good. And now we're gonna save this invoice. You can use the button save and send so your client receives an email with the invoice. In my case, I'm just gonna save it as a draft. And now I'm gonna mark it as sent. Now let's go back to the project. As you can see, all the hours have been built. On the timesheet tab, we can see that all the time entries related to the project have been marked as invoiced. And if we go back to Zoho Projects and refresh the page, we can see that the entries that have been invoiced have an icon next to them. We also have a non-billable time entry that has not been invoiced. Also, you can find invoices on the finance tab, accessible from the three dots. Next, we're gonna review a CRM deal. To open a deal, we can go to the project dashboard and then click here. These two records are CRM records linked to this project. The first one is the account and the second one is the deal. Let's click on the deal. 
On the related lists, we have records associated to Zoho Projects and Zoho Finance. Zoho Projects shows the project information. And Zoho Finance shows all the invoices, estimates, and other records from Zoho Books. So far, we have integrated Zoho CRM, Zoho Books, and Zoho Projects. The records created in these three apps will be linked, so you can access information about them across the apps. Next, we're going to configure and integrate Zoho campaigns. See you there.